Okay, dear learners, our basic learning for today is about the different types of materials. We use different types of materials in order for us to make things. But before we proceed, we will define first what are materials. Materials are the matter or substance that objects are made from. We use a wide range of different materials daily as we use that in our everyday life. This might include metal, plastic, wood, glass, rubber, fabric, stone, and chemicals. Each material can be used to make a range of different things. For example, wood can be used to make different things like a pencil or a chair. Can you give another example of things that is made of wood? Table, a door, a chopping board, or a house. An object can be made out of different materials used together. For example, take a look at the skateboard. Its plank is made of wood. The screws and bolts are made with metal and the wheels are made of rubber. Now, let us understand some different types of materials. Number one, the widely used material is a wood. We get wood from trees. It is hard, strong, and light, so it floats on water. Can you think the different objects that are made of wood around us? These are some examples of the things that are made of wood. A bed, a basket, a chopping board, pencil, catapult, door, cupboard, house, chair, and table. All these things are made of wood. Our second type of material is the metal. We get metal from earth or underground. It is hard, very strong, and heavy and shiny. And there are many types of metals such as iron, gold, silver, and copper. Now, can you think of some things that are made of metal around us? Okay, here are some examples. Knife, so, a wrench, lock and keys, your car, your bicycle, even the kitchen sink, the scissors, a screw, gold bangles, and other jewelries, and kitchen tools like graters. All these things are made of metals. So, basically, metals are strong durable and water resistant and also it is heavy so it sinks in water our third type of material is glass glass is made from silica or sand it is hard transparent and fragile and it can break easily it is water resistant and heavy so it sinks in water now, can you name few things that are made of glass around you? Here are some examples. Drinking glass, cup and saucer, plates and dishes, cola bottles, jars and canisters, magnifying glass, and your eyeglasses, the glass of the binoculars, and also the mirror. All are made with glass. Did you ever wonder why we make the window panes with glass? Well, the clear answer to this is that it's because glass is transparent so light can come in and you can see out. Water resistant so rain cannot go inside. It is fragile so you can break it open in case of need so that is why we use glass in our window pane 
Now let's move on to the next material. The fourth important type of material used in our everyday life is rubber. We get rubber from plants. It is strong, stretchy, durable, and waterproof. Can you name a few things that are made of rubber around you? Here are some examples. Tires or wheels of the car, boots, can of boot, basketball, erasers, hot water bag, and gloves. All are made with rubber. The fifth type of material used to make numerous things around us is fabric. Fabric can be of cotton, silk, wool, or synthetic. The sources of this fabric is we get cotton from plant, silk from the silkworm, wool from the sheep's fur, and synthetic fabric is made with chemicals in factories. Now, let us take a look on how fabric is used in our daily lives, like the curtains, carpets, sofas, dolls, teddy bears, bags, t-shirts, jeans, dresses, and scarf. All are made with different types of fabrics. The sixth type of material is plastic. Plastic is a man-made material. It is made in factories with chemicals. It is durable and waterproof. It is light so it floats on water. We can see plastics everywhere around us. It has replaced many kinds of materials in the making of things. Can you think of a few things made of plastics? Like your laundry basket, plastic toy ducks, toy blocks, carry bags, bottles, recycle bins, comb, and sprayer. These are all made of plastics. The seventh type of material that we use in the making of things that we use in our day-to-day -day life is chemical. A chemical substance is any material with a known chemical composition. A chemist works in a lab upon these chemicals to create a wide variety of things. Now, can you think of few things that are made of chemicals that you used in your everyday lives? Here are some examples. Medicines, injections, bleach, soap, fertilizers for plants and trees, floor and bathroom cleaners, hand wash, sanitizers, creams and lotions, shampoos, dishwash soap, and even makeup are all things that are made from chemicals. The eighth type of material is mud. Mud is a mixture of water and any combination of soil, silt, and clay. And we used to call this material as ceramics. Now let us see what do we use mud for. Can you name few things that are made of mud around us? Firstly, it is used to make a mold of a hut. Mud is baked to make bricks to be used in the walls of the houses and buildings. In the garden, the plant pots are made with mud. Even the pots in the kitchen, including jars, canisters, are also made with mud sometimes. Mud can also be used to make idols and statues. The last and also important type of material that you will be learning about is the stone. We get stone from the earth and rocks. It is hard, durable, heavy, and sink in water. And now, let's see what do we make with stones. During prehistoric time, stone was used by the early man to make his home 
and that was caves and also all the tools required for his living. Stone has been used to make fountains, buildings like prehistoric buildings, palaces and mansions, sculptures, and also the stone furnishes. Now let's have a short recap about materials. We use a wide range of different materials daily like metal, plastic, wood, glass, rubber, fabric, stone, and chemicals. And that is our basic learning about the different types of materials. And if you think this video is helpful to you, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you and happy learning everyone!